Just making sure you're paying attention. Right. Is we, everybody oh, awake? Oh, oh, hello. We're back. What's up, guys? Uh, <laughs> it's Friday. We're all phoning it in, aren't you? Freaky Friday, maybe. Right. Who knows? We've got a ghost in the studio yes, messing yes. with our equipment. <laughs> it is Friday, Ugh. July 26th. Thanks for being with us today, and happy Friday. I'm Haley Harmon, and back alongside me today once again is LEX 18 weekend anchor Kylan Mills. Great thank to have you back. Thank you so much for having me yeah. again. We had so much fun yesterday, we and did. I also have to say a big thank you, Haley. Oh. You inspired me yesterday to purchase a Roomba. That Guys. is what our topic of conversation mm -hmm. was after the show. Haley was saying that she bought one and yes. it changed her life. So. I think I told you guys a couple months ago and, and Lee made fun of me because <laughs> I like wouldn't stop talking about it. It was the greatest purchase I think of my adult life and so I was singing its praises once again to Kylan and I've converted her. Yes, she has <laughs> converted me and it's kind of sad though but I'm at the age where like that just really gets me excited. Like I you're know. saying that was the best purchase of your adult life. I'm like I'm just so hopeful that I can find that too, Haley. You will. You'll find that joy. You stay with it, Kylan, and you're okay, going to get just there. Keep the faith. Well. I'm telling you, if you have pets or if you just like to have a really clean home, I'm telling you, get a Roomba. My mom told me to get one for yeah. years, and I was like, oh, it's so expensive. Do it. Your life but will be worth better. The cost. Oh, I absolutely. Mean, the amount of time I spend vacuuming. Yeah. I have two large dogs. She has Ollie. Mm -hmm. You know, they're shedders. I just every single day I'm spending 20 <laughs> minutes. So like I said, I'm like, how much time is adding up over my life that mm -hmm. I'm spending vacuuming? And the yeah. Roomba, you just press the button, it does its thing. It does, it's amazing. It's amazing. I literally, do you feel this way about your dogs? I'm like, how does he have any hair left? Right. Is my yes. question. Yes, or even um, the dog Janie, I think it was, we had in yesterday, yesterday. And you're yeah. seeing all the hair flying off, and you're like, how is there still so much hair on the dog? I don't know. Like you said, it just first world ending. problems. It's, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> now we got to clean. How does my dog still have hair, and now yes. I have to clean it up? <laughs> okay, oh my we, goodness. we are so hungry on the show today, and we are mm -hmm. hooking you up with two great restaurants that are sharing their menus with us today. The theme is food today. We have the owner of Renata's Bistro and Bar right here in Lexington. Renata Riley, she's going to join us today, and she's going to talk about making and enjoying a plant-based burger. That's a huge trend right I now. I am so excited Me about too. this because I heard them talking about it a yeah. little bit while I was getting ready, and mm -hmm. I'm so curious to learn more because I like the idea of, you know, going more veggie and incorporating yes. that because red meats, we're learning more, are not great for you necessarily and hard to digest, so yeah. it's like, okay, how can I still get my fix of eating mm -hmm. a burger or something like that, mm -hmm. but maybe and not like the other aspect of it, you yeah, know, the red exactly. meat aspect. There are so many restaurants that are getting on that bandwagon now of still offering, you know, traditional, mm -hmm. you know, meat burgers, but even like big chains are now offering plant-based burgers. Yes. And so we're going to make one today with Chef Renata. She is a chef legend in this community, and we're so excited to have her with we us today. We are so excited. And we're also excited because, yes. like Haley said, we are so hungry here Let's that Carrabba's it. Italian Grill will be sharing their secret to making the perfect lasagna at home. And we also it. have dessert for you, too. We've got comedian D-Ray Davis here. Yeah. Right, did I say that right? I think so. D-Ray. Okay. D-Ray. D-Ray. He will have to. He'll have to correct us. Yes, if we're wrong. exactly. He's performed at Comedy <laughs> Out Broadway here in Lexington before. He's a fan favorite, and he's going to join us today. Give you a little preview of what you can expect if you go to one of his live shows this weekend. He's performing all weekend long. So. I'm so excited. And he's yes. been on the show Entourage. He's a huge deal. Yeah. So. That will be awesome. <laughs> Lexington What better rocks. dessert? Yeah, Lexington yes. really does. Well, we definitely have a fun show for you. Are you ready to get underway here Let's with do some it. of our hot topics? All right, a North Carolina man had a prime idea for his wife's birthday. Waylon McGuire decided to surprise his Amazon loving wife with one of her favorite things. No, that's not an Amazon Prime package, but it sure looks like one. It seriously does. Oh my I mean, gosh. my goodness, whoever decorated that did a fantastic job. It's actually a cake decorated like a delivery box, as you can see. His wife, of course, got a kick out of it. They posted pictures on Facebook where it racked up shares and likes. The cake was created by Sweet Dreams Bakery in North Carolina. And like I said, kudos to them because that looks real. It does. Like when it first popped up, I was thinking, oh, that's the box he got the cake delivered in. No. Right, right. Like, <laughs> That is insane. Right. Are, I would have tried to open that. Like, if he presented that to me, I'd been like, oh my gosh, thank you so you're much. Like, I love everything on Amazon Prime. You're Please. Like, Great. Now I've just got my hand in the middle of this cake. Perfect. Right. Right. Exactly. But I can't blame her, though, because I also love Amazon Prime. We were talking about this earlier. Oh, it's so easy. It's, it's so amazing. easy to return. It comes now, like the next day when you order something. I know. It's like instant. You don't have to walk into a store. Amazon, man. It's, yeah, it's a it's lifesaver. It's bomb. Love it. Okay. Talk about ingenuity. <laughs> a Colorado driver came up with a quick fix for one of his broken taillights recently, but it didn't work out so well. Yep, that is a red Gatorade bottle. 
Uh, this guy taped it to the spot uh, while he was on the way to getting it fixed. Well, from a distance, it might look like a tail light when the light is shining through the red gate array. I can see that. But I up close, that. you can see the details of his DIY project. <laughs> police say they appreciate the effort, but are recommending other drivers do not try this at home. The police department said in a statement that working tail lights can prevent accidents and save lives. They let the driver go with just a ticket. But if he was on the way to getting it fixed, yeah, I was going to say, why let him go with just a ticket? a ticket? Let him go. Yeah. I mean, there's got to be something for creativity points. And if you're in the process of getting it fixed, yes. you know, if you're on your way there mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe they could just him follow him there, make sure he's actually going <laughs> so he's not telling a lie. One time I did, right. I nearly got two tickets in one day because oh, I didn't no. realize my license plate. Um, had expired like okay. a few days prior yeah. and it's when I worked oh, on the morning the show worst. and so I was on the road at 3 a.m. coming into work yeah. and I got pulled over twice no. on the way into work and they both it was Lexington cops and they were both so nice and I was like I know the yeah. first one let me know and I didn't realize that it was expired yeah. and I was mm -hmm. like I'm so sorry I'll go get it done and they were like Haley I was like yes <laughs> they were like all right be safe not a mile later I get pulled over again oh, and I was no. like I know but what they both are, let me go, thank goodness. What are the odds of that, though? Although yeah. I will say early in the morning, there aren't that many drivers on the road, yeah. maybe. So yeah. you had a higher likelihood, mm -hmm. but still. Both of oh. those cops so nice, and they let me go. And I really did go that day. So if you're telling police you're going to go get the problem fixed, go Actually do it. Do it. Yes. And the worst is if they recognize you two from TV. Know, so you're like, like, oh, I was I'm like, a law-abiding so, citizen, I, I swear. Know. I was like, I'm, I'm a criminal. I'm going to run. Right. Oh, my gosh. Well. Here's another story for you. When a bear in Colorado had some trouble getting food from a dumpster, he did the only thing he could, also maybe a criminal on the run, he took the entire dumpster. What? This surveillance video shows the bear pushing through a fence. You can see the fence is now open. He sniffs around for a bit, then he finds exactly what he was looking for inside the dumpster, but when he tried to get it and get inside, the bear-proof dumpster did its job, so you see him there. After a few tries, he gave up and decided to just back the whole thing out. Periodically, he would try to get back in the dumpster before what? pulling it out into the street. I know, look at this. I had to look this video up before because I just didn't believe the story, <laughs> but it's true. He eventually gave up and left it out there on the street. Oh, thank God for surveillance cameras so we but, can see. This is like Discovery Channel we're watching right now, guys. I know. <laughs> can you imagine if you worked at that store? I actually read too that it was a cannabis shop, a cannabis oh. shop in Colorado. So what was that bear after exactly? Is there a bear yeah. taking our dumpster? I I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Can you imagine though if you were the owner that showed up the next day and the dumpster's just like out in the street with yeah, like nothing like, missing? You're like, how did that? Was that one of our customers? Yeah, exactly. Did someone have a little yeah. too much fun? It's that bear and he loves mm. to smoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Beyonce is sharing the same weight loss plan she used to get into shape for Coachella with her fans. The singer and her trainer have launched the 22-day nutrition meal planner. The website and corresponding app boasts for $14 a month or $99 for the whole year. Fans can get a personalized meal plan that was similar to Beyonce's. She went on notoriously the plant-based diet after the birth of her twins, Rumi and Sir, in 2017. According to her Netflix documentary, she gave up bread, carbs, sugar, dairy, meat, fish, alcohol, and joy in order to lose <laughs> this weight. Exactly. I mean, kudos to her. She looked great, but she I don't did. know if I could do that. I love all of those things I know. way too much. And she said in interviews after she did that, she said, I'm never going to push myself that far again. She acknowledged okay, how extreme that, it that was. Is, that is extreme. So maybe not the everyday diet, but it yeah. worked for her in that but situation. But if you're trying to, you know, lose some weight and quickly or yes, something, you know, Yes, and you're about to, to be performing out. at Coachella in front of, like, millions of people. Okay, then fine. Maybe that's the it. case. All right.